Hi folks, Dr. Paul here, and I'm gonna deal with a respiratory topic. What's the difference between asthma and croup? For that matter, we'll throw in bronchiolitis. So, we get patients in the winter time, almost daily, who have a cough, child who's coughing, a child who's got noisy breathing, and parents are concerned their child has asthma, and they're in, you know, it's an emergency. The very simple distinction between asthma and croup is that croup is an inhale noise. It's called strider and it's <sighs> excuse me that always makes me cough so it's a squeaky inhale noise asthma is a squeaky prolonged exhale noise so asthma sounds like this it's that squeaky prolonged exhale that's asthma that's wheezing Actually, I shouldn't say that's asthma, that's wheezing. You have asthma if you have the condition where you repeatedly, more than two occasions, you have had wheezing triggered by something. And that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose was not to go over asthma, but just to show that distinction. Bronchiolitis is specifically a wheezing episode with a lot of congestion and cough in young infants. So this is under age two or three, and they come in with just wheezing, breathing rapidly, uh, we've got previous videos on that that we'll give you links to. I just wanted to clarify, if you have Strider, which remember that's the noisy inhale, which is a croup. <sighs> it can be noisy in and out, and they can have a barky cough. <clears throat> that's croup, that's not asthma. When we listen with a stethoscope to that child, their lungs are crystal clear. So that's the easy way to tell if you come into the doctor and we're not sure, because it is possible to have both. You can be croupy and wheezing. But generally, if you're croupy, you're not wheezing, your lungs are totally clear. All you need is lots of fluids, a humidifier, and in very severe cases, a steroid to decrease that swelling. With asthma, that's a whole different story. You've got the narrower, smaller, smaller airways of the lung are constricted, and they're getting inflammation in there, and you would be treated, if it's severe enough, with you know, medications, either inhaler or nebulizer, to relax the smooth muscle, that's your albuterol, and to decrease the inflammation in the airways, that's your inhaled steroid. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Paul. Make sure you like the video if you haven't already, subscribe, share it, we'll see you next time.